Hey everybody, DJ Invader Twin Win here with another demo or free game. I can't remember. I downloaded a bunch of these today. It's called Blue Rider. I don't know what it's about. But we're gonna play it. It's an island with some trees on it, I guess. Carry up to seven missiles. Sprint. Sprint. Shot. I should say shoot. Shoot. And, um. Hmm. Okay. Sprint. Oh, no. What this reminds me of. Um. Oh, man. Yes, it does remind me of that. I knew what this was. So this is like a more advanced version. Oh yeah, it is. I know what this is. So let me give you a little uh, history of some games. I've been I've been playing games since I was like five, five years old. Not a lot. Um, on my dad's computer, Windows 95. Windows 95 and some good old DOS games. So I don't know if it was Apogee, but I think it was Apogee. Apogee came out with a game. Apogee or maybe Traveler's Land. I can't remember. I'd have to fire up one of my old PCs. Um, but this is more of a 3D version of it. So you had this game where you were like a military ship. Um, or like, you know, they had a military ship or let's say uh, a, a fighter jet. And it's a forwards up scroller so basically all you're doing is moving left to right to dodge the bullets like I'm doing right now and um, dodging bullets blowing up shit Ooh, primary weapon upgraded um, dodging stuff and killing enemies and there's probably bosses too this is different because at least I could go backwards and it's not a side scroller or forwards, horizontal scroller, vertical scroller, whatever you want to call it. But it has the same ideals to it. Especially for someone like me who's played games like this before. Um, look at that. Um, so this game that they had, it was, sent, like I said, similar to what I'm doing right now. Um, and they were like, if you blew up you know, silos and stuff like that, you know, like, more ammo for, like, your rockets would show up, or, um, you know, your weapon would change into a single shooter to a double shooter like it is now, or, uh, rapid fire, or, oh god, that's almost gonna hit me, um, um, different things like that. So, and basically, you keep it would keep pushing you forwards until you got to the boss, and the boss was something crazy, and you had to make sure you used. See, like we're gonna just hold it in. Um, you had to make sure that you killed the boss, and, and you get to the next level. And it's basically the same shit over and over again, except for when you die, you go back to the beginning of the map, which obviously isn't fun at all. If you come back to the beginning of the map, you're like, this is kind of mad. And over time, it gets really boring. Um, I'm not really sure. Uh, there's a little rampage thingy in the bottom corner there. Um, it's kind of cool. You can shoot the trees and they move a little bit. Oops. Yep, I got hit that time. It's going to happen eventually. I'm a little more gung ho right now. Because I feel like it'd be a lot easier just doing what I'm doing now. Ooh, what's this? Oh. Oh, one times rampage. Oh. There's obviously a sprint. Wait, oops, that's not a sprint. There's a sprint right there. I don't know what that's supposed to do. I probably should have read more of the instructions. I really only read a portion of them. Probably one of those kill time Sinclair games. Uh, oops, gonna hurt. I'm gonna get hurt some more. Okay, none of the other keys do anything. So 
see that was kind of lame. And I can only see so much in front of me, so. I would have thought that would have been stupid if that made it. Oh, here's health. And it's going to disappear. Okay. Yeah, that and the fact that sometimes you won't always get all the health pickups that just disappear. Look, and it's a boss, just like a, just a conversation with you guys. actually comes towards me, so... I heard the glitch him out, getting him stuck. Oh, nope, except for he has a machine gun and he's murdering me. Um, oops, and he has rockets too. That actually will hurt me. I'm about to die. So I'm gonna actually um, spin in a circle. Sorry, I gotta step this in my This is silly. This is about as bad as Sonic the Hedgehog right now. Die, please. Thank you. Look at all these upgrades. Upgrades up the yin yang. And run into your body. Stage complete. Yeah, it gives you a bunch of stats and stuff, just like just like the old DOS game did. I played it. Basically, you keep playing and keep leveling up your um, ship, if you want to call it that. They made different games that are based on the same battle simulation. Same thing, except for they then switched them out for instead of like military tanks and other jets. Oh, here we go. Let's go back to an even easier one. Prior to the military version, it's kind of like Centipede. Um, except for you're moving forwards instead of staying stationary in a horizontal format. Um, Galaga's like that too, so it's, I guess it could be kind of like Galaga. If you want to go old school arcade type style game and not, you know, home PC DOS, say it's like Galaga. So this game is kind of like Galaga except for... Um, I don't know what that did. Um, except for it's a little more... Oh, I gotta blow up those things for that. Except for this is a little more objective-y and you can do stuff. The bosses are... It's bosses. I don't know if Galaga had bosses. Actually, that makes me a little sad on the inside. I haven't played Galaga in a long time. You don't really see, like, uh, even, I don't know, I, I haven't been to Dave and Buster's in a while either. The arcades are very, uh, finally not around anymore because it's becoming so expensive to go to arcades. You know, not anybody wants to go to arcades anymore. The only people that I know that go to arcades, besides myself, are all my DDR friends, which is really how we went to arcades that reason. Um, now they don't really exist anymore. They're the ones that were around me. But even... Oh, okay, well, even though some of the arcades that are around you, you might see old, really old, like, you know, Pac-Man or Galaga or Centipede. Those are very, becoming very, uh, extinct nowadays. But there it is, guys. This is Blue Rider. Um, kind of like Galaga. A lot of hidden treasures and likeable challenges. 30 hours of gameplay. But for me, I can probably finish it all in a day. But thanks for watching, guys. Peace out.